You may know Kobe as the brand of notably cheap electronics, uh, consumer electronics hardware. Uh, over the summer, they seem to have gone out of business and had most of their assets bought up by Gordon Brothers Group. However, they did not buy any liabilities or obligations of Kobe, so people with warranties are not seeing these warranties be honored at all from before the sale. So people are sending in tablets, yep. maybe a $400 tablet, you know, for replacement under the warranty and getting nothing back yep. and no reply. And Gordon Brothers has responded to this by saying like, yeah, we don't have to. We didn't buy those obligations. We didn't buy those liabilities. We only bought the assets. So they have the name, they have the stock. They don't have to do any, th I, I, I don't understand how this is even legal. Well, once you dissolve the corporate entity, I, I, you know, it depends on, the, like, for instance, if you create an LLC, mm -hmm. if you find yourself, you know, overwhelmed by debt, you dissolve the LLC and you discharge all your, at least the obligations of the individual members. Mm -hmm. So um, if a company is no longer in existence, it can erase their obligations for certain contract fulfillment. If you, do you remember what happened to OnLive? Uh, the, the streaming video game service, not to keep this on video games, but this is kind of relevant. When OnLive s was having some financial problems, the, uh, the board of the company and the CEO sold the company to, uh, to a third party. Mm -hmm. But the way they sold it was they dissolved the company and then sold the company's assets to this new company, which then formed a completely new company using the online name and online a or on live name and online assets. The results of which that everyone who had equity in the company, like stock options, that kind of thing, owned shares of the company outright, no longer own them. That just seems, yeah. I mean, even if it is legal, it's awful. I mean, these people, when they signed up for these things, they bought these things, yeah. they paid for this level of protection and now they're not getting it. Yep. Uh, who, who is going to help them? Basically no one. No and one. these electronics, as I said, really cheap. Yep. not very well made, they're gonna break, and pretty much you're, they're, they've essentially said you're shit out of luck. There's a really funny quote. We understand that Kobe had pre-existing policies and procedures. The policies were controlled by the previous company, and Gordon Brothers Group never had, nor will be able to gain insight to, into those policies in order to rectify circumstances. Further, Gordon Brothers Group is unable to answer questions as we do not have contact information for anyone associated with the former Kobe business. That's like Amazing. saying, oh, sorry, dude, we lost their phone number. Sucks we can't ask for you. help. I'm not going to help you because I don't have to help you. I don't know how to talk to them. Yep. I don't know what I'm going to do. You know how to talk to them. It's, it's ridiculous. That, that quote, like, it's laugh out loud yep. oh, cruel. It's, it's, it's dickish in the extreme. Like, there's no reason for it. Like, other than the fact that they can do it and they have no interest in not doing what they can do. Well, Gordon yeah. Brothers Group, this is kind of their thing. They're yep. vultures. They, they've bought assets. They worked on projects uh, including KB Toys, Sharper Image, Borders Books, Blockbuster. All of these businesses and more, you may notice, are woefully out of business. Yep. And, you know, if it's working for them, they're probably not going to change it. And they're going to keep on with the, to put it ni not nicely, dickish moves. Yeah, it feels like the only solution to that would be laws that require, like if a company is experiencing significant financial problems, and Kobe clearly was. I had no idea Kobe went away. Now where am I going to get my Walkman that breaks down in like five? And, and I had one when I was <laughs> in elementary school, and exactly. it was just like if you tilted it slightly, the CD would stop playing. Yep. I had yeah, <laughs> the old Kobe tape players that would s unspool the, the get, you know, get the tape stuck on the thing, whatever, the reader. Yeah. I don't know the terminology, and it was like 40 years thousand years ago in the past, so no one uses Walkmans anymore. But the point is that I had no idea the company was even gone. Clearly none of the its customers Its name is did, still did. there. Yeah. It's just, it's not the same company that you know. It's run by a bunch of dicks. It would have been <laughs> interesting if the company had been required to announce, by the way, this is something that's happening. That would have been nice, and but, but that didn't. did not happen. Um, so I guess it's on the buyer now. Yeah. Buyer beware.